go queen e2 stop farming kids omg stop farming kids okay let's go c4 d4 i probably go knight f3 knight g5 knight h4 at some point okay let's play ali reza let's play e4 yeah okay have i have i ironed my pineapple shirt no i have not you guys okay let's play this again go here okay he's playing this one i think i would still just play this in d4 okay d4 now i can take and take i can also just take here um i think i'm gonna take and play knight d4 here this knight c3 rook e1 bishop g5 this should be very very pleasant for white if i remember this correctly just like bishop g5 bishop h4 I think I'll just go f3 consolidate the pawns here I can bring the queen up in a move or two I can also play knight d5 here but I think just queen d2 and rook d1 makes a lot of sense okay I think I just go knight here and knight e3 next move maybe I also have rook d1 maybe as well wait what capture what okay what was that that was very weird um okay let's keep going <clears throat> let's do the same thing let's 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 be cheeky here and play the same opening against him just g6 here bishop g7 next move okay now i can take the pawn here actually and go knight before i think because if the bishop moves i just capture and drop back I also have Bishop here to attack the Rook so he's got to bring the Knight out I capture I go Rook E8 pretty standard stuff here although he had E5 maybe actually it's a little bit unpleasant maybe so I think I'll play um I think I'm gonna go here I don't know if this is right because I want to force him to push the pawn maybe and drop back it's not it's not really ideal but I, I want to play this <clears throat> just push the pawn I don't know if this is good maybe I can push but I want to go knight h5 and like capture and maybe go queen g5 um well he's got e5 which I kind of blundered but I still can take and maybe take here actually queen g5 knight g4 knight f4 very tricky here okay so it goes knight e2 logical um I think I play rook c8 maybe I want to bring the queen out probably at some point I definitely have to break this pawn chain here because it's a big problem for me sorry if I'm ignoring the TTS or whatever you just asked um but this is kind of a serious game so I just need to focus because chop the pawn structure here I'll, I'll take a look at the TTS after you guys don't no worries Okay, so he takes so I guess I take with the bishop to hit everything here on this diagonal right so he goes here to take the pawn but I think actually I don't mind so I can just move my queen here let me think okay so, so if I go queen e7 rook d6 that's no good let's push a5 if takes I capture capture if here I go here pressure on the pawn I think or maybe I go this way I don't know actually I think I maybe push the rook up yeah maybe this is good because now I can triple and and target the pawn here <clears throat> okay so now I think I just go Queen here maybe yeah I think I just go Queen here to force him to trade or I win the pawn or I just triple up here <clears throat> I take and I move the rook what's his next move I don't understand this because it captures rookie eight he's pinned I think I'm maybe winning here he's got queen f4 trade f6 93 rookie two should be winning yeah don't worry you guys I'll, I'll look at the TTS afterwards just not right now okay so I just triple up guard everything <clears throat> 
So I can take, I can also just maybe move the pawn. Because the knight moves here, I capture, I capture the queen, and now I just move the queen back next move. Okay, I just move the queen back. Let's go queen here, I guess. Now I want to push the pawn. Oh, you guys, I'll, I'll look at the donors in a second, okay? Okay, so now I just go, um, did I just go here? To, oh, I gave him queen f3. That was very stupid of me, but I have queen back. So I will just push the pawn. Drop the bishop, push the pawn, maybe move the rook up. I'm way up on the clock here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's keep going. Fan sound. Let's make a check. Okay, let's just play here. <laughs> okay, let's push the pawn with the rook. So I think here I still play this rook b1 a3, try to attack here. Sorry if I'm ignoring TTS, but I just I, I want to focus on these games and then I'll, I'll I'll deal with it after. Okay, so he's got this. Do I really care if I go here? He goes here. This might be a problem. So I can play this maybe. I th I don't think I'm worried because I can always just play b4 with bishop e3. So I will go uh, just here. I'll push the bishop back next move. So I just take. I push the pawn. It's got to take. I take back. I can still play knight e2 here, maybe. I also can play b4, actually. Yeah, this looks really good. I just want to attack here because the knight is very vulnerable. Now I can play g3. I can also just sidestep. I can also play king h2. I can also play bishop a4. This actually looks like a good move. Although, actually, no. You can just take, maybe. This is a bad move by me. This is a very bad move. So I play knight d5, this is no good. Really misplayed this position. Um, really, really misplayed this. I guess I'll just drop the rook back. Queen g5. Queen g5 is always the issue. Maybe just... It's just here. So he's going to go knight d4, I go queen e3, and I'm really in bad shape here. Maybe it's not so bad. I always have this king h2. I, okay, plays d5, which kind of is a surprising move. So I thought I dropped the rook back, and then I can always put the knight, my other knight here. So I'm, I'm not so unhappy that he played this. So I go here. So I capture, so I capture. I'm going to put the knight here next move for sure. Okay, he's thinking for a long time here, so this means he's not 100% sure what he's doing, which is which is important. Okay, so now I think I just go G, ah, but G3 takes knight D5, queen D8, F4, F4, knight D6, F5. This looks interesting. I'm going to do it. So he captures, I come here, he goes back, I go here to hit the knight, hit the queen, he goes back, and I start pushing, he goes back, and I push, and I push, and his king gets absolutely sauced. go here he has to go back I go here hit the queen go here if he captures you lose the knight so he has to go back and I push I attack this I threaten this he might just no okay five he'll probably capture I capture then I take bring the knight back I should be much better here oh they can go 
Knight g5 again, maybe. Then f6. Very dangerous position for black here. Okay, rook e8. So I guess I just... If I capture he wants this, 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 this. Knight e7, queen g5, goes back e6. If I play bishop h, I just I'll take. go here say oh I blundered this whoops oh shoot that was terrible I just blundered that okay let's go here double the rooks I guess try to attack way up on the clock at least but tough position to play for both sides here I'm pr I should be winning though because he has no time he's got 27 seconds to figure this out okay he does that what else can I do? Maybe rook b6. Let's go this way. Try to check and go here. There's 96. So I guess I go here. Let's play rook b8. Let's go here. Now there should be some trick like this, maybe. Just takes, I've checked. If I go here, 95. Okay, so I'll just take. Just take. Check, take, take. Let's go check. Bring the knight back. Let's go here. Let's go. Actually, I can just capture because I have checkmate. <laughs> I just take. All right, let's go again. One more, you guys. Let's play the same thing. Okay, let's go here. Okay, he plays knight bd2. So there are many lines that I can play here. I can castle, I can move the knight. I think I'm just gonna castle here. Okay, knight c4. Knight d7 is fine here with rook e8 next move. So the point is he wants to develop really quickly here. So I think in this one, I'm supposed to just attack here, like bring this one out. I think a5 is a move. It's not necessarily best. So I'm gonna bring the knight back, try to attack this way. I swear you just farm like there's no tomorrow with these amazing moves. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I wouldn't say I'm farming. I'm just trying to play good chess. Okay, goes here, but this is wrong. So I think I can put the knight here and push. I can also put the knight here, but I think this seems right, though. So he captures, I capture, and then I break his whole pawn center. It goes back either way. Um, I think I'll push the pawn anyway, probably. I think I just break it? Yeah, let's just break it anyway. What's the highest ranking I've ever had? I've been 3,332 points. Um, so that's that's what I've been. I mean, yeah, I'm not even 3,300. I'm such a such a scrub. I'm terrible at this game. What can I say? Now I can push this pawn here. I can also just capture. It's an interesting spot for me. I think I should push, but maybe I just capture. Um, so let's just capture. Because now if he goes back again, I play knight back. If he takes, I just take and go e4 anyway. So I'll pre-move this in case he takes. Okay, so he does go back, so I will go back. Now he goes back. So now I should be better if I can play this precisely. Um, I think I'll just develop the bishop. If c3, I will trade and capture. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll answer the TTSs in, in, in a little bit. I just, I kind of want to focus on this game so that I don't blunder this. I guess I just, I'm just going to take and take. I'm not afraid. He can go here to try to lobster pincer me, but I bring the rook up and then I bring my other rook in and I attack. If he captures, I go this. What am I missing? I don't understand. So I, the bishop guards the rook, the rook guards this, the rook guards this. And now I go here, remove the queen. He also, if he castles, I'm going to checkmate him down here. Right, but now I go rook f8. 
Oh, I should have taken this knife. That was a very bad mistake by me to not take this knife, but I still should be much better. Ooh, do I have this juicy nugget? Mm, takes rook f2. Castle's long. Not quite. Okay, let's just focus then. Um, I just go back. But now, oh, and if I wait, if I take f2, he has no discoveries, right? He's got rook f1, I guess. Yeah, okay, he's got moves, so. Let's just chill it out a little bit. Play rook f7, attack the pawn. He pushes probably, I'll go e4. Oh, did I just blunder? Oh my gosh, I did just blunder this. I didn't see this bishop e1 move. I still have rook f4 to hold though, I think. A little bit lucky here, maybe. I actually, for some reason, I just missed that he had this move. Let's pre-move this, I guess. Okay, it goes king b2, which doesn't this just lose to rook f2? Not quite. I mean, I okay, I, I don't know. This looks like it's winning somehow. Because I'm hitting everything here. His king is, like, wide open. Completely exposed. Okay, let's play one more for the even five. Let's go e4. Let's go knight f3. Actually, I'll play until I lose the game. How about that? Let's just play until I lose the game. Um... Okay, I think I'll just play... Yeah, I'll just do the slow line. Let's go here in castles. Okay, let's just play rook e1. He'll go e5. He will d5. Okay, so I'll play knight d2 and c4 probably. Bishop d6. I can play h3. I can also go c4. Knight f3 is not right. So let's play h3 here. Let's go queen e2. Stop farming kids. OMG, stop farming kids. Okay, let's go c4. D4, I probably go knight f3, knight g5, knight h4 at some point. Um, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I think I'll just do this one. He's got to push the pawn at some point, although he doesn't do it that way. So I'm just going to bring the knight into f5 here. I can also play bishop g5. Actually, I do have f4 here, maybe. Yeah, f4. Yeah, f4 looks pretty good. Because if he captures, I just go here and I fork the bishop and the knight. And otherwise, I start to launch the, launch the king side here. Like, if he goes bishop b4, I go rook f1, and then I capture with this way. Then the queen's under attack, then everything's under attack on this line. I guess I'll pre-move it. He, he won't take. Yeah, of course he won't take. Um, I think I just push the bishop back. And I'm just going to start to attack here. Just all aboard the choo-choo train on this king side. Okay, so what? Let's keep attack. Oh, he's got knight c5. Whoops, I didn't see that. Still should be good, though. I can go rook f1 and bishop d2. Yeah, I, I missed this move. That was a big mistake. But okay, I just keep developing. Bring the rook over. Make a solid pawn, pawn chain here. Um, let's go here, maybe b4 and a b3 next move. I think I will do this and take. And push b4 next move. So that I have a c5 idea at some point. Okay, just take. Go c5 logical. Now I think I should try to attack somehow over here. Maybe already f6 is a move. Maybe b4. Don't actually like my position that much here. So I think I think what I'm gonna do is try to uh, try to attack, maybe go this way in f6. Basically, I don't care about this side of the board. I'm just going to attack here with g6 next move. Or f6. Actually, f6 looks good too. But he's got this bishop move that's really a problem. Um, How do I do this? This is probably really quite bad for me in reality. Um, Yeah, really bad actually. Because the problem is this pawn is so weak. How can I attack? To go all in here somehow and try to just just attack him and, and hope that I can win, but I probably cannot. Okay, so he's trying to win this pawn. So what do I do? Yeah, this is gonna be a bad game. I can already tell. Let's go here, guard the pawn. I guess move the king and try to push his pawn, but it's not gonna work out. I probably was better here until I allowed this knight c5. This this was my big mistake in the game. Uh, let's just go here, I guess, and take with the knight or the king, maybe. I'm way down on the clock, so I also need to be quicker. I guess I'll just take with the king. Yeah, I guess. Um, how do I do this? He's going to go queen b7, so I'll just bring the king up here. 
I could have moved the knight, I guess. That would have been much better. Let's go here. here trying to find some magic way to hold on but I, I can't really hold on here let's just see yeah there's just no way I can hold this let's play rookie one and rookie two maybe or bishop c1 next move I mean somehow I'm still okay on the clock so maybe the clock will help me but my knight is just so bad here that there's just really nothing much I can do this this knight just kills me um, I guess I'll do this. Why not? Oh, but he's got a five too. Oh, he's just got a five. He doesn't do it though. Let's go here. B two or B one maybe or something. Okay. Okay, I guess go to king here. Okay. Now he's starting to misplay this because now I get the knight here at least. Let's go here. Oh, that's a good move that I didn't see. Um, I have to go here and try somehow to hold this. Guess I'll go here. Let's go here. Maybe like queen here to check or go here. Um, let's just take. Okay. It's probably losing, but is it? Yeah, I just won this. Yeah, not, not enough time. No, it's just not enough time. Yeah, all right. Okay, one more. Let's play the same way. Bad game. Let's go bishop c5. I got a chance there at the end that I shouldn't have had, but not a good game. This castle. Play this. Okay, just go here. Takes and d5. Actually, no, I go here and then I capture. I think just c6 is fine here. I can also take, but I think just. This should be fine because I can go bishop f5, bishop g6 next move. I mean, unless I'm blundering here, which I could be. So he moves the rook. I just uh, the rook up. I just dropped the bishop back here. I mean, it's hard to believe this works. So I had knight h7 at some moment. Okay. So if I go back, what's his next move? I don't understand this. If I go here and then rook g8. Takes, I just take. So I just. So rook g8. Capture, I capture, I move the rook up and the queen up, I guess. Or did I just blunder this? I just walked into this tactic.
Yeah, I took with the wrong piece. Not playing, not playing well today. I'm, pl I'm playing fine, but yeah, I just walked into a stupid tack that I should have seen. So I go here and no, there's just nothing that works here. So I take knight g7. Yeah, okay. that was just a bad game. Um, yeah, that's good enough. I'm not feeling it. That's good enough. Um, that's good enough. 4-2 is fine. I mean, it should have been 5-1, but 4-2 is fine.